Anyway, when I got tired of that, it was in uh, December when I finally dragged out. I left my brother there working on the horse ranch and I went to California. And then I got out here and when I turned 17, I joined the Army. So they sent me to Fort Ord up there by Salinas, right. California. And I went there to do four just, months for 16 weeks of basic. Just a little south of Salinas, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, right there. That's a big, big camp. They got Camp Roberts up there too. Is another big camp. It's further south than near, Fort Roberts Ord. is near um, uh, Paso Robles. Yeah, closer to Paso Robles. Uh, anyway, I've been over. I've been up there about two two months or so. No, I think I've been up there four months because my brother had re upped in the army, but I didn't know that. And uh, I was in the day room shooting pool with a guy on a Sunday. And uh, Sam walked by the window and I told that guy, I said, if I didn't know my brother was in Colorado, I swear he just walked by that window. <laughs> and about that time he come in the front door. Huh. Yeah, and he'd re upped in the army. Another three years. No, that was in uh, that was in 47, 48, 47, I think. Because uh, I went to Korea in 48, and then uh, they set Sigmund Rhee up there as president and give South Korea their independence. And I worked in a guard company there for 13 months, and then I went to Japan, stayed 18 more months. I was overseas almost three years, and I hadn't had a furlough or nothing. So when I, I came in on the Ainsworth in Seattle at uh, June, June 19th, and then they, they gave me a 60-day furlough, and I headed for San Diego, and I got to San Diego 21st of June, and the war broke out in Korea the 25th. I went on four days. And the 4th of July, I got a telegram from, the, from, the, from Washington that said, all leaves are canceled. Report to duty immediately. <laughs> so, okay. So I went back over with the 2nd Infantry. And when we got to Pusan, all they had left of Korea with that whole peninsula was a 60-mile perimeter around Pusan. And, uh, North, North Koreans had all the rest of it. We had 200,000 troops there, and there was so many people there that, uh, you know, there was 20,000 people from the 2nd Infantry when we got there. We were still outnumbered to 10 to 1. <laughs> but, Dad was out in California yet at that point, or? Yeah. Yeah, he came out there in 46, too. Same time that uh, I went back to Michigan. All right. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, he came out and he went to work for John Hanson moving houses. And he's been doing all kinds of labor work back in Michigan. The winters back there are so goddamn cold, he'd get arthritis so bad he couldn't hardly do anything in the winter. Yeah. So when he when he got out here he said he felt twenty years younger. <laughs> and he went to work for Brady carrying HUD. He carried that HUD right up until he was sixty five. And then he retired. But he had, uh, was he a Ray too? Huh? Was he Ray too? Oh, my dad? Yeah. No, Sam. Oh Sam, that's right. Yeah. And when Ray was born, I wanted to name him Sam. So my, my brother Sam got killed in Korea. And then he was in the 2nd Infantry too, just past right here. And uh, so when Ray was born, I wanted to name him Samuel Richard, after my brother. And my wife wanted to name him Ray, so <laughs> I wound up, wound up naming him Ray. She said, well, we'll name the next one Sam, but we didn't have the next one. 
But four months later, my brother in Arizona, he had a son, and he named him Samuel Richard. And when Kathy said she was pregnant, she said, what are we going to name the baby? I said, if it's a boy, we'll name him Samuel Henry after my dad. So he got his name. Dad died in December. Sammy wasn't born until the following year. So he never got to see his grandpa, but he got his name. Told totally. me.